So I've made a worksheet to help you get ready to deal with square roots and radicals. And here's what you're going to find on it. The first part of the worksheet, you're going to have a number like 3. And I'm, ask, I'm going to ask you to say what 3 squared is. In other words, 3 times 3. And you write 9. Now, the main thing is I want you to recognize that 9 is a perfect square. In other words, 9 is 3 squared. And I want you to recognize all of the, all of the perfect squares up to what happens when you have 12 times 12. So you're going to have 2 squared, and that's going to be a 4. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. 8 squared is 64. Then we have 9 squared is 81. Well, I'll move over to here. 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 121. And 12 squared is 144. Now, I want you to not only be able to go from, let's say, 8 squared to 64. I want you to recognize, this is the important thing, recognize that 64 is a perfect square, that it's 8 times 8. So the main idea of the first part of that worksheet is for you to get used to seeing these numbers, the perfect squares, and be able to recognize them when you see them. Now, the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is a bit harder. I'm going to give you a number like 18. And I want you to figure out what you can divide 18 by so that you'll end up with a perfect square. In other words, I could divide 18 by 3, and that would be 3 times 6, but neither 3 nor 6 is a perfect square. If I, since 18 is even, if I divided it by 2, I would have 2 times 9, and 9 is a perfect square. So I'm going to rewrite that as 2 times 3 squared. Okay, this is going to become really, really useful when you get to dealing, like I said, with square roots and radicals. Now, the worksheet then goes, goes on, and I'm going to ask you to do the same kind of thing for cubes. So in other words, you're going to be dealing with what 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed, is. That's going to be 2 times 2 times 2, and that'll be 8. So I want to make sure that when you see an 8, you recognize it as 2 cubed. In the same way, if you see a 3 to the third power, I'm sorry, 3 to the third power is 27, I want you to recognize 27 as 3 to the third power. You're not going to have a whole lot of these. There will also be 64. If you see a 64, you want to see that as 4 to the third power, if you're dealing with cubes. If you have 125, Realize that's 5 to the third power, and you might see this on some of your work. If there's a 216, realize that that's 6 to the third power. Okay, so these are going to be important numbers to know when you're dealing with cubes. Okay, um, that's it. Good luck.